so bored. Fishing is so boring. At least at this place it is. Maybe we should go upstream. We've already been upstream 12 times. You're right. This is boring. But what else is there to do? Hey, what's that sound? What sound? Whistling. I hear people whistling. Ooh, you are bored. I hear whistling. Listen. You're right. It is whistling. Lots of whistling. Look, over there, coming down the path. It's a, it's a, what is it? It's a book, a gigantic blue book. It's got arms and legs, and there's a bunch of kids. And they're getting closer. What are we going to do? Uh, uh, just stand still. Don't move. Pretend we're statues. Maybe they won't see us. Okay, let's freeze. teaches kids how to worship Jesus. His pages are full of songs, and all we have to do is think happy thoughts about Jesus, and out comes the music. Just think happy thoughts about Jesus, and songs just start? Salty, look at this big pile of junk over here. Yeah, there's tires and inner tubes and lots of old boards. Let's build a house on that sandy spot by the water. Are you sure you want to build your house on the sand? Why not, Salty? There's a big rock up here. That sandy bank by the stream is pretty. But what if it were to rain? The river would flood and wash our house away. Right, but not if it were up here on this rock. Salty, how come you're so smart? Because I read the big book, the Bible, and he's never wrong. As a matter of fact, he says that Jesus is like a rock. And if we build our lives on him, like you're going to build your house on this rock, then we'll be strong, super strong, and we'll be able to handle any storm that life might bring. I guess Jesus really is like a rock. We can build our lives on him. Whoa, whoa, here comes a song. Don't build your house on the sandy land. Don't build it too near the shore. Well, it might look kind of nice, but you'll have to build it twice. So you'll have to build your house once more. Don't 
build your house on the sandy land Don't build it too near the shore Well, it might look kind of nice But you'll have to build it twice So you'll have to build your house once more You better build your house upon the rock Make a good foundation on the solid spot Where the storms may come and go But the peace of God you will know about it. Uh-oh. Watch out. I know lots of songs already. I sing them at camp and Sunday school. What's the big deal? <laughs> I told you to be careful. What did I do? I didn't mean to make him cry. You didn't sing the songs from your heart. And that makes me sad. Wow. You have to sing the songs from your heart straight to Jesus. And that makes me happy because that makes the songs praise. What do you mean by that, Salty? When you sing praises to God, it's a way of telling Jesus you love him. You can say, I love you, Lord. And it can just be words. But if you say, I love you, Lord, and it's from your heart, it's praise. I want to tell the Lord I love him right now. I want it to be for my heart. I, I love you, Lord. That did it. Here comes the music. Touch your finger to your nose Bend from the waist way down and touch your toes And when you come up slowly start to sing And say to the Lord I love you my eyes, there was my baseball right at my feet. I love you, Lord. 
Oh Lord, I remember when we moved to a new town. I didn't have any friends. It could have been so hard, but you were there. You're my best friend. I love you, Lord. Love you. On worshiping the Lord as we sing about what Jesus did, because He loves us. Pages. I think I got a song about that. That's it. That's it. Go for it, kids. The Lord told Noah there's gonna be a floody, floody. The Lord told Noah there's gonna be a floody, floody. Get those animals out of the muddy, muddy children. Build him an 
Arky Arky Lord told Noah to build him an Arky Arky build it out of Go for Barky Barky children of the Lord So rise and shine and help squeeze some water out of me? Sure. sure. <laughs> and you kids at home, it's time to turn over the record. Salty, I'm not a very good singer. Oh, nonsense. Well, every time I open my mouth to sing, it just comes out noise. Aw, oh, fooey, let me hear. Okay, but you better hold your ears. <clears throat> Whoa, that is a noise. Er, I mean, let me hear that again. All right. Hmm. It might sound like noise to you or me, but it's music to Jesus' ears if you do it with love in your heart to Him. Thanks, Softy. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all the earth. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all the earth. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Make a loud noise and rejoice, sing praises. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Make a loud noise and rejoice, sing praises. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord.
It's so much fun to praise the Lord. Let's just stay here and praise Him forever. Well, that would be fun, but we're not supposed to hide our lights under a bushel. What does that mean, Salty? It means that God wants us to spread His love to everyone and not keep it just for ourselves. He wants us to go out into the world and tell other people the good news. What good news? The good news that Jesus loves them, too. Ready? Sure. I'm praising the Lord, but I don't feel like it. Now hold on a minute. Who said anything about feeling? We don't praise the Lord because we feel like it. We praise Him because we choose to. We praise Him because the big book, the Bible, says to. Who can think of some reasons why we praise the Lord? Because He loves us. Because He takes care of us. He gives us clothes to wear and food to eat. Because He said He would never leave us. Just because He's God and He is worthy to be praised. That's right. The big book says we should praise the Lord in all things. And you know what happens when we get close to God by thanking and praising Him? What? God gets close to you, and that'll take you right out of any bad mood anywhere, anytime. It will? Sure will. Then praise God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord! Now you're singing. Don't you mean talking? Nope, singing. Here comes another song.
salty, salty. The Lord just ministered something really neat to me. He did? I was sitting here by the stream feeling discouraged and sort of frustrated. I guess I think I look silly because I don't have my front teeth. And then the Lord began to speak to me. He said, everything has its own special time. Flowers have a time to bloom. Birds have a time to fly south. Caterpillars have a time when they become butterflies. And then he said, I would have a time when my two front teeth would be something I would see in a mirror. I'm so excited. It's in his time. He makes all things beautiful in his time. That's beautiful. In his time. Everybody, come over here and sit down for a minute. It's almost time for me to leave. Oh, don't, don't, leave. Leave. don't worry, I I'll be back. Besides, there are lots of other kids I have to go see and teach about praising the Lord. But right now, I want to tell you all something very important. What do you want to tell us, Salty? Well, while you were singing, I was remembering back to when I was a little book. No bigger than that patch on your knee. You could hardly read my print, I was so small. I never thought I'd be anybody important or do anything really worthwhile. But then somebody said to me, Salty, you have potential. What's that mean, Salty? It means God has a plan for your life, a special calling to do something for Him. To each one of you, He's given talents and spiritual gifts and abilities to develop. Cindy, you might be a doctor. John, you might be a firefighter. Cheryl, maybe you'll be a mommy. Could I be a policeman? Of course, if it's in your heart to do. I'm so excited because I'm doing what God has called me to do. I'm telling kids all over the world that Jesus loves them, and I'm teaching them how to love Jesus back by praising Him through their songs. 
But Salty, how do we get to our potential and do what God's called us to do? That's simple. Do the best you can do and let the love of Jesus shine. Then, when other people look at you, they'll see the Lord. That's what it means to glorify the Lord. God wants to be glorified in our lives. He wants to use each one of us to show other people his love. So, if that sounds like what you want to do, you could start right now by letting this song be your prayer. Okay? Okay, okay. Sally.